Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer? Ronnie really Sweater Natural, and this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily smooth skin using frequency separation with no steps skipped. So, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel. So, what I want to do you're simply going to first of all look at the photo that you want to edit and first of all clean it up. So, remember before smoothening the skin, we want first of all take care of the pimples or blemishes in the image. So what we want to do, we are just going to come to the background layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard and zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. Then I'm going to come to these tools and simply select the patch tool. So after selecting the patch tool, simply to remove a blemish, you simply left click and hold down and you draw around the blemish and you drag that blemish to an area nearby that contains a blem blemishless skin so i'm just going to draw around just like that and draw around there and drag to a clean area so basically that is how the patch tool is going to be working for the blemish removal step so this step is more of cleaning up the image and preparing it for the skin retouching process so just come and remove those blemishes just like that so after you have cleaned up the blemishes always take your time and remove each and every blemish so i've already that done that to this very image because i don't want the tutorial to be a long one so this is the before after before after so what we want to do we are going to create another layer from this very layer by pressing ctrl j so that we can have two layers so after doing that rename this to low and name the up layer to high so the low frequency layer is for colors and the high frequency layer is for textures so just come and hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer and after selecting the low frequency layer simply come right here to filter come to blur and come to gaussian blur right there take the radius all the way down and look for an area that seems to have more skin textures than the rest of the skin so just click anywhere and you can use these tools to zoom in so i feel like this area has more skin textures than the rest of the skin click on the radius and drag up the radius slider so after dragging up the radius slider you have to take care of you have to take care of uh, these blemishes and make sure that the blemishes are not existing in your image so you have to take care of the textures rather so come the radius left click and drag up so you have to stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from your image so around 3.5 that is the step whereby i'm just starting to close out on the textures in this area so depending on the image that you're trying to work on you have to stop at the point whereby you are just starting to close out on the textures and click ok come the high frequency line now activate it and after activating it simply come right here to image come to apply image and simply the source is the name of the image that we're editing come to the layer and select the low frequency layer make sure the channel is set to rgb make sure the invert option is not turned on and since we are working with an 8-bit image the blending has to be set to subtract the scale is trend offset 128 make sure opacity is 100% preserve transparency and mask cannot check and simply come and click ok so after doing that simply come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and we'll get back the image the way it was meant to be so put this in a group and press ctrl g after selecting them to put them in a group and you can open up the group and select the low frequency layer then just come and hide the high frequency layer the reason for this is because as we are smoothing out the skin we don't want to be distracted by the skin textures so after doing that simply come and right click and select the mixer brush tool under the brushes so right click on the brush icon and select the mixer brush tool and if at all the mixer brush tool is not displaying under the brushes you can always locate the mixer brush tool just down here so after selecting the mixer brush tool you always have to set it up so make sure the hardness is set to zero percent and make sure clean brush is selected then we have two options right here load the brush after each and every stroke right here and clean the brush after each and every stroke so just one photoshop 
to automatically clean the brush as we're working on different areas or as we're smoothening different areas because different areas have or contain they have or contain different colors or different skin tones so with a lot of with the weight of nine percent load 75 mix at 90 flow at 100 percent make sure sample all as is not turned on and zoom out slightly so in order to apply the mr brush tool you simply reduce on the size and make sure that it is small enough to blend a given area so for example to blend on the cheek area using the mr brush tool and by the way if i told the mr brush tool is showing a plus icon press the caps lock key on the keyboard so that it can be this circle right there so to apply the mr brush tool you simply left click and hold down and you drag the mixer brush to while, while still left clicking and holding down so left click and hold down so we are basically trying to mix and blend different areas of the skin tone and after mixing a given color you release the left click button and left click once again while those colors are transitioning from one color to another just like that so reduce on the size and mix this highlight alone using a small brush and always as you're working make sure you retouch at a distance because when you zoom over in it means that you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone transition so i'm just going to mix on the nose area just like that just come and slightly mix there and you can notice that as you're doing this the skin is getting smooth and it looks plastic but the reason for it looking plastic is because we turned off or we hid the high frequency light and when you come and turn it back on you can see the before after before after the skin is looking smooth but we have still maintained the original skin texture so just come and hide this once again and you can increase on the size and work on the forehead area so mix those colors that are looking alike and mix just like that it is as simple as this so Smoothing the skin basically doesn't mean that you have to end up with an image that doesn't contain textures. Make sure you smoothen the skin while keeping and maintaining the original skin textures in the photo that you're trying to work on. You don't want uh, that kind of wax painting like image after smoothing the skin. We want the skin to be smooth but we still want to maintain the original skin textures or details within the skin so you can see this is what we have before after before after so we're going to come to the neck area and also hide the high frequency layer so we are painting while still selected or the low frequency layer because smoothening basically is more of a blending the skin tones so i'm just going to come and blend just those areas just like that and by just doing this you can see that the skin is now looking better and uniform and it looks smooth enough so you can see what we have right now so this is the image before after before after it looks natural and it doesn't look over processed so this is how you can easily smooth and skin using photoshop and using frequency suppression and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating